semifinals. He had a huge quarterfinal game, three goals against Hopkins, including the game winner in overtime. He is a playoff player. Last year had a terrific NCAA tournament. Well, Barrier comes in the second to just heave the ball, and Tordy had dropped back on defense. He was right there. Yes. That's turned into a little bit of a shooter. Watch the big shot here by Whaling. He is a defensive tackle in football. Loses about 25 pounds to come in here and play tough. Keeping up with Hess, his quickness is really a factor. Ball way out front now, and Lawrence Smith with a great size advantage gets double team. He comes inside still, finds the lower left corner, and after a six-minute possession, Princeton ties it. Surgical precision, confidence of a champion. It's one-to-one. -one. Lawrence Smith unassisted. That's a look at Christian Cook. The defender is out of the game. Lawrence Smith, last year a first-team All-American, his 20th goal of the season. Here it is again. Just slides through the double team. Bears in, it looked like Healy got a piece of that, but Princeton's on the board after just a terrific offensive possession. Lord Smith, 6'3", 190. Watch him use his size right here, and he slices through that double team. Frank Raiden, 16 with the ball. Here comes a little bit of motion. Zeller running. Down low to Andrew Whipple. Then the Hawn off the pipe. Hawn was there for the shot he wanted, and he just... Light it up. So Maryland puts themselves in a real pressure situation here. Sims out front. This is Hubbard. And Smith on the far side. Hess in front. Easy shot. Nobody on John Wynn. And Wynn cranks in goal number two. Princeton scores two straight. This one an extra man play. Maryland put themselves in a bad spot there. Princeton gets their first lead of the day. Princeton was three for six on their extra man. Watch the pinpoint passing. Win just finds the seam of the defense. Maryland's extra man defense, not very strong. Teams are scoring about 35% of them. Again, Hess to win. It doesn't get any easier than that. That is a tough unit to stop. They've got best I've seen Corey Popham play this season. Jason Farrell playing on Scott Hoxted, who gets in front of the goal a lot on these sets. As Zeller behind, they were pinging the corners. So far today, they're either hit, hitting meat or missing the That cage. was a great piece Popham got on Rule's shot. Rule, remember, can shoot 95 miles an hour. Ball goes back to Princeton. They're saying that he was pushed into the crease. Princeton again, watch it. Front. Massey gets a nifty shot. He got a little bit of room there, just turned and wheeled and beats Healy. Three to one to score. Time and time again, Princeton gets a second shot, third shot, fourth shot at the defense of Maryland. Massey, number two at Princeton in career goals behind Hubbard. Here's the ISO on Chris Massey, the senior from Garden City, just catches and fires. Nothing Healy can do from close range. Nice feed by Rob Tordy, the freshman in front. Massey, great to make that save. And Quinn, nothing very tricky about it. We saw a lot of this against Loyola. A lot of running, hard shots, test the goalie, and the big hit there. Turf. Lunko Maniacs. Hess, Hubbard, and Massey, they've rewritten a lot of the... But watch Han catch the ball inside and turn, and he's just leveled. Great Barrier. defense by Chris Barrier sliding upfield. They rotate the... This team can really do it. Faceoffs have been a factor. Uh, we know that Haggerty's been winning them all. They have to turn into goals, though, and that is the key. Princeton's done a nice job getting back into the hole and denying Haggerty the fast break right off the faceoff. That's his strength. He likes to pop it to himself and trigger that four-on-three fast. Lawrence Smith, nice job of Healy to go pipe the far pipe. It was hip high, left side, off stick. That's a tough save. And that's a textbook give and go between Lawrence Smith and the attack. He gives it up, gives a little shake and bake, and cuts to the goal. This one goes in. Beautiful job by Lauren Smith. Didn't get it cleanly in. Healy got a chunk of it, but the move was from behind to the front, and they get goal number four. And Hess, I think Hess gets the assist. That'll be his second of the game. Watch him behind the net, dodging right-handed. Senses the slide. Banani is all over Lauren Smith, but Smith just one touches it. Again, here it is. He cuts away from Hess and just redirects that ball past Healy to Sprong. Heimer, he's got an open man now if he can move it around. Hahn up front. Hahn across the crease. Hoxted looks for him, gets doubled, and gets checked into the crease. It'll be a violation that won't be called because Popham has the ball. Great nice save job. by Corey Popham, just holding his ground, playing his angles. And that's a play on call. They give Princeton the opportunity to clear the ball, keep the game seamless. Keep it has, known as a feeder, has really changed his role, has become a scoring threat. And he really makes you play him honest. Watch out, ball over. This will be an easy goal for Hess. They threw it past Healy. He slam dunks, and that has got to hurt. Five to three. They give one to Princeton. Sloppy clearing by Maryland, and Hess with a little hustle.
scoops up the loose and gets an easy one, a gimme. John Hess in the right place at the right time. Only 13 goals this season, but his main job is as a feeder. Reese just throws the ball back to Healy. Healy had some problems. Princeton in a little press ride there. You can see Hubbard and Hess both doing a great job. Reese with the to Healy, and it's all John Hess. Sloppy, you cannot afford mistakes like that against Maryland, against Princeton, excuse me. Coming in for the faceoff was Noe, number 12. Great ball control. Sims, good speed, he'll get a shot off. Hard shot, he's got the corner, and they are doing it textbook style. Maryland sizzled for three goals by Princeton to open up the second half. They've scored three in five minutes. Maryland gave him one, and Princeton just took two other ones. Game-breaking speed by Josh Sims. Watch him just put it into turbo right here. A little acceleration, and he's in, and the accuracy finds the lower corner. He is shooting the ball so well. 13 goals on his last 20 shots or in that range. He's just on fire. Josh Sims, a potential first-team All-American. Haggerty now, a guy that can really get things going the other way, but they're just tying him up. Good job of face-off man Greg Mecca. Quint, they put Greg Mecca in number Forced to use a timeout. That's controlling now behind John Sims. Initiating from behind. But now he works on him. Triple on him and watch Mark Whalen in close. There's a big save by Healy. Tremendous save. Seamus Groom is right in his face, but they get the ball back. Massey. Hubbard will create some problems here. Hess, he's got rope. Seven to three, a four goal run by the defending champion Tigers. Generated off the second chance opportunity. Pasqualina unable to clear the ball. Princeton, their attack, they're just swarming on the Maryland clears. They generate the turnover right here. Massey with a little flip to Hubbard and watch the unselfish play. Finds Hess, Hess low to high, just rips the corner. Again, Hess low to high, just scorches the twine. Princeton on a four goal run. Hess, two of those four goals. Watch out, Hans on the run. He's looking for help, he'll take the shot himself. Goes for the corner with an off-speed shot and Pablo makes the easy save. Popham has them talking to themselves. Brian Reese will mark up on Massey. Massey comes in, a little bit of room, and there's an easy goal. Defense of Maryland has just fallen apart. Massey's second goal of the game. Great clear out. Nice field awareness by the rest of the Princeton team as you take a look at Christian Cook. There's Massey, two goals today on the left-handed move. You'll see no one on the left half of the field. You see how they all get out of his way, and there's a lot of space. Massey has a lot of time and room there, and Brian Reese has got to do a better job of pushing him behind the Pop him. He's played beautifully. Right, here we go. Yeah. Was even further, Quint, was when it was 8-4, to four, and they had a two-man advantage. Could have made it 9-4. Maryland pushes him away, and then gets a goal of their own. Up top, pressure on Healy, and it'll be burned by Hubbard. Defense failing Healy as Hubbard, the big right-hander. Boy, that is not where you want him to shoot from. At that location of the field, it is almost a certain goal. This play was designed for Josh Sims coming off the pick left-handed, but you can see Sims carries, and then there's a big opening on the far side, and Hubbard with time and room, high to low, nothing Healy could do about that. Princeton right now shooting the ball better than Maryland. We've seen Maryland miss the cage a lot. Princeton, they're burying them in Princeton history. Great execution. The play broke down. Maryland did a nice job. Sims was forced behind the cage. Playing him. Tordy sees a little bit of a room. Osberg playing it beautifully for the right hand. No angle there. Watch out. Coming in close. Shot on the far side. Easy goal for Seamus Grooms. Just splits the defense and comes in. Goes to his left and beats Healy on the back side. Seamus Grooms had two goals. In the semifinal, two huge goals for the senior as they beat Syracuse and today scores the 10th for Princeton. Terrific execution from the second chance opportunity. Hess with the beautiful feed right on the money. And watch Seamus Grooms with some patience finds the lower corner. Each time, you don't know how many possessions you'll get against Princeton. You know they'll hold the ball. And look at this. Nobody moving it. Raiden getting sandwiched. Ball down. Princeton's going to take it away again. They are just too smart. They don't make it easy for Maryland, and they double team and get the ball back. Maryland threw away another chance for a key possession. And close, easy shot and a goal by Jess Hubbard. Great pass by Barrier. 
It all started with the double team. Arrington made a beautiful crossfield pass to Barrier, who took it inside. A little eye contact with Hubbard. Here it is. Watch the eye contact. Barrier will just find Hubbard inside on the front swing right there. And Hubbard, easy catch, a little jump shot past Healy. Poor defense by Maryland. Maryland. Not what you expect by Princeton to jam that ball inside. And they can because one of those fouls against Maryland was a three-minute non-releasable call. Big shot by Hubbard. <laughs> Jesse Hubbard's oh, got... Oh, gosh. He's got the cannon. This is the U.S. team member. And you can showcase... He'll showcase his skills against the world in July. That's the spot he shot from earlier. That is his favorite spot for the big right-hander. 6'1", 210 pounds out of Georgetown prep. He's got over 30 hat tricks now in his career. Here it is again. Time and room. This is just a scary sight for a goaltender. Watch him size this up. And look at the accuracy. Just under the bar, you can see the moisture come off. On the attack end. <laughs> and that's it. Against six Maryland. This is Hoxted going against the world. Running for his life. Hoxted playing against the whole defense. Can't get the shot off. And now the player's back on the field. Looks like it could be even strength. Foul will be on Maryland again. Shot coming in. Healy gets tested far side. Hubbard gets another goal. He's cranking up the history books for his own numbers. And a lot of little chippy kind of action up here on the offensive end for Maryland. Hubbard, what a great day. What a great season. What a great career. This guy, his name will be mentioned many, many years down the road. Four goals in the fourth quarter. Jesse Hubbard, four-time All-Ivy League selection. He can do it all. We saw the outside shot. He's great in traffic. Early on in his career, really not much of a dodger. Yes, he scored four the last five. He is a force, but everybody gets credit. Take a look at his offense. Now, this is live out. Uh, through these wonderful three years, this team, really, they've only lost, like, one game. They would never go above 19 goals. If they got up to where they were really beating a team, including last year's championship game against Maryland, they would stop at 19. And there's a goal by Massey. But Princeton remembers, Quint, when they were getting beat badly. Tierney remembers when he first came and he had to build his program over five years. He remember getting shellacked, and he said he promised he would never do that to another team. He stops at 19 if he ever gets the chance. It's a classy move. Coach Tierney, that man there, all full of class. Took over Princeton. Nine score, nine goals separate these two teams. Maryland working around that young attack. These are the faces you'll see next year, Quint. Neil DeBello, great save, the senior. Coach looking at him, he came in as a young talent. He's a junior now, and they said, we want to play attack, we want to play midfield. He switched positions rather than watch those three become the great All-Americans that they are. A minute left as Princeton starts the victory train. This is a team that really has dominated the 90s. They celebrated Quint at halftime, the 73 team of Maryland. Maryland and Cornell were the teams in the 70s. Hopkins has been strong throughout in the 80s. Carolina went on huge runs. In the 90s, it's been Princeton. And of course, Syracuse has had a great tenure all the way through these great years of NCAA finals and championships. They will become the third team to three-peat. Hopkins, 78, 79, and 80. And then Syracuse, 88, 89, and 90 behind the Gate brothers. Princeton has done it in the 90s, their fifth national championship. Got some new faces scoring as goalie Pat McGinnis lets one get by. Ben Hayworth, the senior. Got to feel great about that, getting into the national. Throws it downfield. And Princeton, the dominant team of the 90s, proves they are the class of 98. Flex back to Hess. Hess now with it. With some room, great pass, and a goal right there by, looks like number 44, well, Mark Whaling, a second team midfielder who is an all Ivy League football player. And just like that, Quint Print, Princeton answers impressively. Well, this is all Hess, 48 assists last year. Shook made a nice check behind the cage, but right there you can see the quickness of Hess. And there, Hopkins is forced to slide defensively and help Shook out, leaving Whaling open in front. Right there, you see Hess. Causes a separation. Kaiser has to slide. Goal, and picked up instead by Princeton. And the Tigers now look to clear. Number 27 is Christian Cook across midfield. A dangerous defenseman here. Number 27, an All-American. In on goal, a shot that just goes wide, but backed up by Princeton. And again, an example of Princeton's across midfield. 
Christian, or make that Paul Luckenheimer gets uh, gets hit hard, and Princeton converts the goal. Well, Luckenheimer took a shot right into the stick of number 21, Matt Baylor, and Baylor beats goalie Brian Carcaterra to cut the lead to 3-2. Baylor, the freshman from Episcopal in Pennsylvania, just does a nice job on this. He had a two-on-one. He had Hubbard to his left. Watch right here, but he turns his body and fires offside low. Just perfect placement. Backman and certainly his debut today against John Hess is as tough as it gets. Josh Sims scored a winning goal last year in this game, and he gets a look at a goal. Josh Sims beats Paul Lasore. And sneaks one in on Brian Carcaterra, but it will be disallowed. Saying he's in the crease. Josh Sims got underneath Paul Lasore, came near side towards the pipe. You'll watch, he ducks underneath Lasore. Lasore doesn't push him hard enough right there. Watch his feet. Let's see if he steps on the red line. Ooh, it Don't was know close. about that one. That right was, on uh, the line. The yep. fifth to Corey Popham, and Princeton looks to go the other way. Number 37 is Lunkenheimer, who started every game in his Princeton career. A lot of experience. Quickness the way he scutters behind the cage, but uh, credit Princeton for not giving up and really working hard. Pass to Hubbard, and Hubbard gets a look and a goal. Jess Hubbard on a great feed from John Hess, and you, you've seen these two guys do that their entire career. Watch the fake when Hubbard scores this. He fakes Carcaterra down and then pops it up high. You'll see Carcaterra kind of drop for half a second right here. Here it is. Hubbard comes around, drops his stick, and then pops it high, far side. Career goal number 118. As you see it again, boy, tough, tough chance already today. Hogan now looks to penetrate. Gets crunched by Christian Cook, and Cook comes away with it, not quite yet. Princeton just is at the point to Josh Sims. Gets a step and a shot, and it hit the pole and then carried in. Boy, Josh Smith, uh, uh, Josh Sims, I should say, again with a lightning first step. Yeah, Sims has been able to penetrate three times. Once he was in the crease, uh, the second, Carcaterra made a nice save on him. But this one, Sims just barreling through the Hopkins defense to about eight yards and fires it. He beats Paul Lasore. He just runs right by him. And watch the second slide four, right there by Whedon. Sims is strong enough. Loose ball. Watch it here. There'll be a loose ball in front. Nice defense here by Hogan. He'll make the check right there. Loose ball goes, I think, to Hubbard, 16, who just lets it go underhand. And Carcaterra gets there at the last second. That's in front and a shot and a goal. Boy, yeah, Jess Hubbard, it looked like no contest, Quint. It looked like you draw it up with a blackboard with no defense. That is a, a set inbounds play. They get the ball behind the cage. Hubbard sweeps for his right hand, and there's some interference there for him. And all he needs is a step. You put it on his stick, he's going to find the back of the net. He's what you call a finisher, and he finishes with the best of them. His second goal today is 118th of his illustrious career. Right there was a low feed. He just caught it and let it go. Hess to Hubbard. Isolation on Carcaterra. He turns, sees the ball, and it's just too close, too fast. Which with Lauren Smith to Massey to Hess to Sims. Great ball movement by Princeton here. To Hubbard, hard shot and a goal. Looked like a deflection. Looked like it may have even deflected off Carcaterra's stick into the goal. But with 3.32 left in the half, Princeton takes its first lead of the day. First lead, hat trick for Hubbard. That's the outside cannon from about 12 yards in front of the cage. I've seen this uh, almost about 120 times now. He's actually just tied Justin Tortolani for the all-time goal scoring at Princeton. Here it is, just super ball movement. Hubbard steps up and just it's a matter of velocity. When the ball's going 95 miles an hour from 12 yards, unless it hits you, uh, you really.